welcome friends i am harshil varade assistant professor from sanjuni college of engineering kopparga let us learn the next part today uh, unit 1.10 part 2 that is fits so let us learn fits today fits between mating parts what is fit fit is the general term used to signify the range or degree of the looseness and the tightness of mating parts we know that in case of mass production a number of components are manufactured regularly and these components need to be assembled there on the shop floor so the relation which exists between these mating components that is nothing but the fit when two parts are to be assembled the relationship resulting from the difference between their sizes before assembly is called as fit this is what is the technical definition of the fit it is the degree of tightness or looseness between the two mating parts to perform a particular function the selection of fit is made from the standard tables so standard tables are available for fits and selection of fits can be done according to the actual limits of the hole or shaft sizes the fits may be classified as clearance fit interference fit and transition fit so here i have shown a figure where a component is to be fitted in a hole that is i am saying it as shaft and if we see there is very small gap between the two mating components so here in first figure it is tight fit whereas the second figure shows the more clearance in between the mating parts so it is loose fit so fit types there are basically three types of fits clearance fits interference fit and transition fit so clearance fit what is mean by clearance fit let us see with the help of example it occurs when two tolerances tolerance mating parts will always leave a space or a clearance when assembled in clearance fit an air space or clearance exists between the shaft and hole now shaft and hole means what a shaft and hole a hole is used to specify the internal features of component which is manufactured whereas the shaft is used to specify the external features of a component which are manufactured so here i have shown the assembly of a hole and a shaft and if we see the hole size it is 5 means diameter is 1.250 and the diameter of shaft is 1.248 so there is a clearance which is clearly seen so it becomes clearance fit for such an assembly let us move further next type of fit that is interference fit it occurs when the two tolerance mating parts will always interfere when assembled it means the sizes of hole and the sizes of shaft are different where the hole size is less and the shaft size is more in such cases the diameter of shaft is always larger than the hole diameter so from the figure it is clear that the shaft size is more than the hole size and when such is the case then there exists the interference fit next one is transition fit so what is transition fit and when it is going to occur so it occurs when two tolerance mating parts are sometimes in interference fit and sometimes in a clearance fit when assembled so if we see the figure carefully we will come to notice that the hole size and the shaft sizes they are in such a way that they create either interference or clearance but which is very small so such a fit is called as transition fit so 
see here i am showing here the in maximum interference and minimum interference maximum clearance and minimum clearance and transition for the shafts let us learn some important terms nominal size already we have learned these terms a dimension used to describe the general size is called as nominal size the basic size the theoretical size used as a starting point for the application of tolerances is nothing but the basic size and actual size is the size measured for the finished part after machining or manufacturing that is uh, obtained that is actual size so tolerancing on holes and shafts so a specified system for fits of fits for holes and shafts see here there exist two such systems hole basis system and shaft basis system in order to obtain different types of fits so hole basis system in case of hole basis system the hole is kept constant and the shaft sizes are varied to give the various types of fits it uses the symbol capital h in the tolerance specification so for hole basis system i have shown the interference fit and clearance fit as shown in the figure next let us see a specified system or shaft basis system where the shaft size is kept constant and the hole sizes are varied to give the various types of fits it uses the symbol small h in the tolerance specification okay so in the figure i have shown the basic shaft system and how the clearance fit and interference fits are obtained it is clear from the figure so for shaft basis system shaft basis system is generally preferred when the different elements with different fits like pulleys gears flywheels are mounted on a single shaft shaft basis system is generally not suitable for mass production because this system will need large amount of storage space for different tool investments and it will require it will be required to produce the holes of different sizes so generally in practi uh, practical situations the holes basis system is most commonly preferred so hole basis system and shaft basis system and what are the different fits which are obtained it is mentioned here by numbering first number is clearance second number is transition fit and third number denotes the interference fit for hole basis system and shaft basis system the figures itself they are self explanatory so fits for hole and shaft basis system so clearance and interference fits between the two shafts and a hole so from the figure it is if we observe the figure carefully it is more clear that what is the maximum clearance minimum clearance and maximum interference minimum interference when a hole and a shaft is assembled so in case of figure a the clearance fit for clearance fit is there as the shaft size is less than the hole size whereas in case of figure b there is interference fit because the shaft size is more than the hole size and if we see the allowance what is allowance allowance is always equal to the smallest hole minus largest shaft so it is the difference between the smallest hole size and the largest shaft size so in case of figure a the allowance is plus 0.001 whereas in case of figure b the allowance is equal to minus 0.003 so metric symbols of fits how fits are represented so if a hole is there then hole size so basic size take the example of 
uh, for, first example as shown in figure a hole having size 40 as basic size a fundamental deviation that is h capital h and it grade tolerance 8 so 40 h8 is the designation of a hole fit is uh, fit is expressed in figure c before fit let us see the shaft how it is designated so shaft 40 f7 where 40 is the basic size small f is the fundamental deviation of that shaft and 7 is the it tolerance grade international it stands for international tolerance grade 7 so there exists such different grades there are 18 grades of tolerances which are designated as IT01, IT0, IT12, IT16. These are called as standard tolerances. And when we are going to assemble this hole and a shaft assemb assembly, then we will get a fit and this fit will be denoted in as shown in the figure C. 40 H8 F7. So, where 40 is the basic size and capital H8 is the hole tolerance, whereas F7 denotes the shaft tolerance. So, terms related to the metric limits and fits. So, I have shown here a figure. The figure shows the basic size, the maximum uh, two meeting parts where shaft and hole is shown. A shaft and a hole are assembled here so different terminologies associated with both are shown in the figure maximum size and minimum size of the shaft maximum and minimum size of for the hole fundamental deviation for the hole basic size of the hole or shaft upper deviation and lower deviation for the shaft upper deviation and lower deviation for the hole so all these are shown in the figure so again some de definitions we are going to see here from the figure so what is deviation deviation is the difference between the basic size and basic size of the hole or sharp size upper deviation what is the upper deviation upper deviation is the difference between the basic size and the permitted maximum size of the part lower deviation what is the difference uh, what is the lower deviation lower deviation is the difference between the basic size and the minimum permitted size of that part fundamental deviation the fundamental deviation is the deviation which is closest to the basic size of the component so these are the some of the definitions which can be understood by by properly understanding the figure welcome friends i am harshal varade assistant professor from sanjini college of engineering copper thank you